Welcome, Never Betters, to my YouTube channel. I'm Susan, and this is Buddy Sherman, and we are so glad you're here. So today, I've got a 30-minute vinyasa flow practice for you all about movement and message. We are going to move in and out of variations of camel pose in the flow. The message is about cultivating meaningful work. So I hope you enjoy. If you like what you see, hit that thumbs up, push that bell for future notifications, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Now let's get after the best version of you today. Full stop. Can't believe I live in your thoughts. Think about you all the time. If you follow me on Spotify, at Never Better Yoga. We are gonna go ahead so we can all start together and press that button right now, the play button. Then come with me. We're gonna come right around into child's pose. So just let your knees go the width of your mat. Let your big toes track together. Lengthen your arms out in front of your body. Draw your hips back towards your heels and bow your head down. Now close your eyes, really press into the palms of your hands, lift your forearms up. Collectively, all together, let's take a nice deep breath in, fill your chest, fill your lungs, fill your diaphragm up. And an audible sigh right out your mouth. <sighs> now lift your hips and your forehead up. Walk your hands off your mat to the right. Drop the right forearm, left hand on top of the right. Press your palms down. On the inhalations, lengthen out your breath. And on the exhalations, dive into that lengthening. Lift back up, travel over to the left side, letting both hands go right off your mat, dropping the left forearm down, right hand on top of the left, and breathe some space into that right rib cage, those intercostal muscles in between your ribs. And then come back to the center with your head still bowing down to the earth. Balasana, child's pose, a great place to ground, to solidify your practice, to create and cultivate stability from the beginning. And then from here, drop both elbows, collect your palms in prayer style. Let your thumbs travel toward the nape of your neck. Now right here today, as we unpack the ninth guide post from Brene Brown's book, The Gifts of Imperfection. Just go ahead and know that we are going to cultivate meaningful work. So let your purpose reflect that, that wish, that prayer, draw it in. And then once you've solidified your intention for your practice, stretch your arms back out, walk your hands back towards your knees, Bring your knees parallel to your hips, hands right on thighs, tuck your toes under. Just sitting on your feet, if that's too much, you can lift your hips up, but roll your shoulders up and back. So how do we cultivate that meaningful work? Well, maybe one way is to just Begin to think, what would you spend your time doing even if you didn't get paid? Now, rise up your hips off of your heels and circle the right arm around. Just start to bring your left hand to your hip and create a circular motion. Get any kind of kinking 
that might be in your head or neck out. And then travel the right arm up and into your right hip pocket, left hand hip pocket, retract your shoulders, squeeze your inner thighs in and look up. Now, right hand, right hip, circle that left arm around. Yes, open up right into this day. Yes, what would you spend your time doing? Cultivating that meaningful work, making such a difference in the lives of others in your life and everybody you're around. Reach that left arm up. Slip the hand into your back pocket. Let the right hand join. Retract your shoulders. Offer the heart up. Breathe in. Now exhale. Breathe out. Hands and knees. Round the back. Tuck the chin. Inhale and arch. So cultivating is about creating something positive. Yes. Round your back. Tuck your chin. Inhale and arch. It's about moving forward. Yes, keep on keeping on. Moving forward with the oars. Yes, the oars in the water as we row our boats in the sea of life. Now, spin it around and stir it up. One hand to the right, one to the left. Maybe you bend your elbows, cat style on the back cow on the front so circle around now reverse that direction opposite direction circling around letting your breath connect to your moves today coming back to the center left hand forward right hand flips all the way around now rock back and forth just a couple of inches yeah, rocking back to open up that right forearm, that right wrist, that right arm. Rocking back, letting the knuckles press, the finger pads press. Spin it back around and reverse it. Left hand travels around, thumb outside. If it's too much, no worries. You just keep your hands forward. Make that tiny little bit of a shift back and forth just a tiny little bit of a dance with your breath tiny dancer back and forth now flip both hands around pop your toes to tuck them under lift your hips up to the sky and downward facing dog now in your down dog we're going to create a little wave so peel your heels up on the in breath Bend your knees on the out breath. Shoot your hips back to your heels. Spiral the inner thighs in. Keep it going. Inhale, shift. Exhale, drop the hips back. Spiral around. Two more. Inhale, shift. Drop the knees as they hover. They don't touch. Spiral in and up last time. Inhale, shift. Exhale, drop and back. Now, Right leg crosses over the left. Left leg crosses over the right. Make a nice slow crisscross IT band stretch of a walk to the top of your mat. 100 million steps. Yeah, take your time. Now, when you get there, heel toe your feet further than your hips. Soften your knees, cascade down in a fold. Collect your peace fingers around your big toes. Pull them up. Breathe in, breathe in. Exhale, dive down, breathe out, and fold. Now stay in the fold. Shake your head out. Any kind of angst, any kind of worry, any uncertainty, anything troubling your heart, don't let your heart be troubled. Any doubt. We can do without, yes. Draw back in the passion, the fire. Breathe in, look up. Uncover, self-doubt just keeps our passion covered up with those ashes. Shake out anything that's keeping you 
from unveiling the real you and the real passion that you have inside. Now, shake a yes back in, knowing you are exactly where you belong. There's no coincidence that you are here today. And then release the big toes, heel toe your feet all the way together. I want you to sit right into Utkatasana chair pose. Yeah, let the toes be light, draw the shins back. Don't ask what the world needs or wants. Ask what makes you come alive. Then go do it. What the world needs is more people to come alive with their passion. Fold over your legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bow down, scoop your arms up, rise up, stand tall. Right hand, left wrist, take a nice side bend. Beautiful, come back up, left hand, right wrist, up and over to the left. Now come back, take both hands, slip them into your imaginary back pockets, hug your inner thighs in, retract your shoulders, lift your heart up. Exhale, cascade down over your legs. Cascade down. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale, step the right leg back. Dip the right knee down. Offer the arms up. Breathe in. Bend the arms. Breathe out. Scoop the arms up and around. Breathe in. Bend the arms, breathe out. Stir it up one more time. Scoop up that passion of yours in your belly. Exhale, tee the arms, now hold. Lace your hands behind your back, draw them down the inside of the right hamstring. Dip the hips more, offer the heart up. Release your hands down, draw the hips back, dig the left heel in. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale and fold, plug that left femur bone in. Now slide the left foot in, plan it, pick up the right kneecap, right hand down, left arm up and overhead. Exhale, dive the left arm underneath and reach back to the right thigh. Pull the left hip back, look under the right arm. Inhale, go back, modified revolve lunge. Exhale, left arm up and over. Dive underneath, spin down the right foot. Look under the right arm, pull the left hip back. Last time, left arm up and overhead. Now lower the left hand down. I want you to hover the left shin. Just pull it in. You're in high plank and you're hovering the left shin. Hover, hover. Stretch the left leg back. Roll open at the hip, bend the knee, flex the foot, spread the toes. Now draw that left knee right into your forehead. Step it up, back right knee down, scoop your arms up, breathe in. Exhale, shift, forward fold, breathe out. Inhale, halfway, move your breath. Stir it up, fold and bow. Inhale, rise the heart up. Exhale, bow back down, getting over yourself. Breathe in, lift the heart up. We are probably our biggest blockade of realizing all those dreams, those wishes, those prayers. Rise up, right hand, left wrist, side bend. Today we're going to get over ourselves. Lift up, left hand, right wrist, side bend. You've got it. Now slip both of your hands in your imaginary back pockets. Hug your inner thighs in. Lift your heart up. Breathe in. Exhale, dive right over your legs. Breathe out and fold. Inhale and lengthen. Take the left leg. Step it back. Dip the back knee down. Scoop your arms up. Breathe in. Exhale, breathe out. Scoop the arms up again. Breathe in. Exhale, breathe out. Last time, scoop it up, breathe in. Exhale, breathe out and hold. Now lace your hands behind your back. Slide down the inner side of that left back hamstring and look up. Release your hands down, glide your hips back, dig the right heel in, plug that right femur bone in, pump your heart up, breathe in. 
Exhale, dive back down, breathe out. Nice stretch of that right hamstring. Right knee tracks over the second and third toe. Left toes tuck under, left kneecap lifts. Left hand down, right arm up. Right arm up and over. Exhale, dive underneath. Collect the outside of that left leg. Maybe look under that left arm, soften your face. Breathe in, right arm up, modified revolve lunge. Right arm up and over, breathe out. Exhale, dive underneath. Yes, beautiful. Inhale, rise up third time, reach up, hold. Right arm up and over. Now, right hand lowers down. Hands are gonna plant. Hover the right shin. Hover, you're in high planks. Hover and hold. Stretch that right leg back. Peel the left heel up, roll open at the hip, bend the knee, flex the foot, spread the toes. Draw the right knee right into the center line. Step it up in between your hands. Dip the left knee down. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, shift to the top of your mat, forward fold. Inhale, halfway, breathe in. Exhale, bow down, one breath, one move, two more. Inhale, halfway, breathe in. Exhale, breathe out, one more time. Take a halfway lift, shins back, heart forward, breathe in. Exhale, fold and bow. Rise up with that zeal, that enthusiasm. Right hand, left wrist, side bend. Stir your passion up. Left hand, right wrist, bend left. Now, T the arm standing. Take your hands, slip them into your back pockets, retract your shoulders. Uncover that passion you have that stirs in your heart. Lift it up, breathe in. Exhale, dive down, hinge, bend, and fold. Inhale and lengthen. This time, step the right foot back, but levitate your arms, scooping them up into high lunge, crescent. Exhale, T the arm. Scoop the arms up, leaning forward, offering up your intention. Exhale, dip even deeper. Third time, scoop it up, breathe in. Exhale, tee the arms and hold. This time, collect your hands at heart center. Hinge up and over to twist over that left front leg. Hands at heart center. Maybe you stay, maybe you open high to low. Expand the arms, the wings, breathe in. Beautiful. Now, up and around, right into peaceful warrior. Flip the left palm reverse. Pinwheel your hands down. Move your body through vinyasa. Inhale as you offer your heart up. Exhale, dive your hips up and back, down dog. Pop your heels up on the in-breath. Bend your knees, shoot the hips back, spiral that circle. Inhale, breathe in, stir it up. Exhale, bend, shoot the hips back, hold in down dog. Right leg rises, roll open at the hip. Right foot behind the left to flip that flow. Offer the right arm up and open the heart. Right arm lifts, bring it around, right knee in, step it up, crescent lunge, rise up. Sweep the arms this time, warrior three with airplane arms, lift the heart up, breathe in. Exhale, draw the left knee in, stand tall into crane, left leg over the right, standing pigeon. Release it, brush and sweep. Lace your hands, bow over your legs and fold. Release your hands, halfway lift. Exhale, dive back down. Do it again. Inhale, pump the heart up. Breathe in, stir that passion up. Exhale, let out any self-doubt. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, let out anything that's a supposed to. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale, fold, rise up, breathe in. Left hand, right wrist first, lean to the left. Come back to the center. 
up and over to the right. Now, tee your arms like goal posts. Slip your hands into your back pockets. Retract your shoulders. Offer the heart up. Breathe in. Exhale, cascade over your legs. Breathe out. Inhale and lengthen. Step your left foot back behind your body. Scoop your arms forward and up. Crescent. Exhale, dip the hips. Tee the arms. Inhale, scoop up. Breathe in. Exhale, stir up that fire. Stir up that zeal, that enthusiasm. Tee the arms and hold. Pull your hands together. Ring it out. Left upper arm on the outside of the right front thigh. Now you might stay here. You might open up high to low. Breathe. Up and around. Right into peaceful. Flip that palm. Reverse it. Pinwheel your hands down. Move your body through that flow. Your knees could come down. You could take it out. You could kick it up. Whatever serves you today, offer your heart up. Unveil those gifts, those blessings, those talents that you have. Stay in down dog. Walk your feet in a little. Breathe in, pop the heels up. Exhale, hover the shins. Drop the hips to the heels. Spiral in that circular wave. Inhale. Bend the knees. Drop the hips back. Spiral in and up. Left leg rises in your down dog. Roll open at the hip. Stay right here or flip it. Left foot behind the right. Pop the heels up. Right shoulder stacks over the wrist. Lift the hips. Left arm up. Bring it around, draw the left knee in. Step it up, sweep your arms out and up. Crescent lunge. This time, brush and sweep. Airplane, warrior three, find that balance. Exhale, draw the right knee in, stand. Cross it over, standing pigeon. Release it, brush and sweep. Both feet down, both hands lace, opposite thumb on top. Dive over your legs. Release your hands down. Walk your feet back. Pop your heels up. Breathe in. Exhale, hips to heels, hands to heart. Balance. Now go back. Finger pads down. Bow down and fold. Inhale, hands to heart. Hips to heels. Balance. Yes. Now, fingertips down, spiral the inner thighs in. Drop the heels down, back to Utkatasana chair pose. Exhale, dive over your legs. Inhale and lengthen. Step back, down dog. Shift from your down dog into high plank. From your high plank, drop your knees. Point your toes. Draw your hips to your heels. Sweep your arms alongside your body embryo pose now from here bring your hands back in front hands underneath your shoulders tuck your toes under hips to heels left hand hip pocket like the beginning of class circle around lift your hips up and off circle even bigger now this time reach that right arm up slip it in the back pocket left hand joins Offer the heart up, squeeze your inner thighs in, breathe in. Exhale, draw, brush, sweep, point the toes, bow down, embryo pose. Now, let your hands come in front. Physically pick yourself up, you've got this. Tuck your toes under, right hand, right hip, circle that left arm around. Yep, now come with me, rise up, open up, breathe in. Now go ahead and take that left hand, slip it in your back pocket, right hand joins. Offer the heart up. Now stay right here. You might reach back to your heels for camel pose. Breathe and hold. Reach back, sit on your heels. Lace the hands inside out, round the back, tuck the chin. 
Pull your elbows in. Expand your heart as you lift up and lean back. Exhale, pull it back in. Contract. Inhale, rise up. Breathe in. Exhale, draw back. Release your hands down to your mat. Tuck your toes under. Downward facing dog. Let your right leg lift up, roll open at the hip, bend the knee, flex the foot, spread the toes. Draw the right knee up the center line, step it in between your hands, dip the left knee down. Offer the arms up, breathe in, this time part the arms, breathe out, left hand forward, right hand back. Spin around to circle, left hand hip pocket, maybe left heel, right arm up and back, half camel. Pinwheel the hands down, step back, Adho Mukha Svanasana, down dog. Pop the heels up, bend the knees, hover the shins. Drop the hips back, spiral back in, do it again. Breathe in, build that heat, that fire, that zeal in your belly. Drop the hips back, spiral in and up, left leg lifts, roll open at the hip. Knee to nose, draw it in. Step it up, right knee dips, sweep the palms up, pinky fingers spiral and breathe in. Exhale, right hand forward, left hand back, breathe out. Circle the arms around, slip that left hand right into your back pocket, maybe the right heel, Left bicep by cheekbone, right hand, right hip pocket or right heel, half camel. This time, pinwheel your hands down, hop to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bow down and fold, rise back up, breathe in. Right hand, left wrist side, bend. Back up top, left hand, right wrist, lean to the left. You've got it. Tee your arms. Elevate your heart. Slip your hands into your back pockets. Lift the heart up. Build that fire. Exhale. Dive down. Now bend your knees and come all the way down onto your bottoms, lifting your legs up for that high boat. Lower down for low boat. Cultivate that meaningful work. Hug the right shin in. Heart lifts up. Fire the left leg up. Lower back down. Exhale, draw in. Inhale down. Wholehearted living. Move it in and out. It's a way of travel. It's not a destination. We're going to get over ourselves. Here we go. Side to side. Breathe. Build that fire. What would you do even if you didn't get paid? Yes, rise up. Breathe in. High boat. Let these oar be buoyant. Now plant your feet. Go ahead and slip your forearms down in your back pockets. Straighten your legs out. Flex your feet. Let the heart lift. Fish pose. Slide your arms down alongside your body. Lay right on your back. Find happy baby. Standing in this happy baby, maybe a breathe. Feet plant to the width of your mat. Just knees. Keep arms just alongside your body and rinse the knees. Rinse the hips. Cleanse and purify. Washing away anything that possibly holds you back from meaningful work, your passion, your purpose sets you on fire. Not what the world needs, but what come alive. Rinse the left. Knees left, gaze right. 
Now come back and just roll up to a seat. Crisscross the legs. And finish off with your hands slipping beneath your kneecaps and just roll around, stirring the pot with a solid anchor. Your tailbone anchors into the earth, into your mat, keeps you stable and grounded while stirring up the zeal, the enthusiasm, the fire in your life. Reverse that direction. Yes, cultivating meaningful work. The ninth guidepost from Brene Brown's book, The Gifts of Imperfection. Life changing, I must say. Sweep your arms out and up. Gather all that is good, all of the blessings into your heart in that Anjali Mudra. Bring your chin to your chest and solidify your purpose, your passion. Connect to it, activate it, fuel it, and move it into the forefront of your life so you can shine that peace, that love, that light from your heart to all those around you. Now look up, finish off with one ohm to home. Don't be shy, sip your breath in. Om. Now go on out and be a blessing. Namaste. Full stop. Can't believe I live in your thoughts.